Presenting Miss Janae. I'm a Serving it to you like it's never been served in this whole day. Representation of how I am feeling right about now in this very moment. It has been a hot minute since I have come to y'all, just me and you, solo by solo, one by one. And I had to come to you this week because there were some things on my bosom that I had to release. You always have to get it off your chest. If you don't get it off your chest, it doesn't go and stay on your chest and interfere with your body for the rest of the week and you can't function. And Jenny as a woman need to function. It is currently Tuesday night, a day that the movies are 50% off, and so the gentleman and I decided that we would engage in a movie this evening and maybe an after party, who knows. He said that he would pick me up at 7 p.m. sharp. Now, he didn't just say 7 p.m. If he said 7 p.m. in local time, I would understand. I expect him a hot half past seven. We know that's how local time works. But this gentleman said to me, sharp. Yes, I have a new man, no paid, no mine. It's like I'm um, weave. It's changing every six months. Um, don't judge a bitch. Don't judge. Speaking about weave, in preparation for the date, because we made these plans on Sunday, mind you, today is Tuesday. I went to Marquish. Marquish is my hairdresser. And I said, Marquish, I want the hot five packs this week. I said, every pack I hear your ass. She wanted on she head, and so we gazed in at since Sunday. I wax legs, I wax arms, I wax eyebrows, I wax beard, I wax everything. Everything you want me to wax, I wax. Point is, I ready myself. I went and I put on black at bosom. Bosom I was giving him up. It is now half past nine. He ain't reached yet. Not a call, not a BB, not a WhatsApp, not a audio note, not a Facebook message, not a tweet. You're gonna tweet me and say I'm not coming, something. But I am still here, it is hot half past nine, and I am hot as hell and have to fan in my own living room by myself. Why? Because the man didn't have the testicular fortitude to say I'm not coming. To say, don't bother, look out for me. Get out my face, chat man. I'm mad! And I find that this is something we've been having to deal with out in the whole Trinidad man. Every instance, every junction, we try to do something. We try to come together, we try to make something happen, and people do not know how to say in the most pleasant way, no thanks, I'm not available, I'm not interested, I'm not whatever. And this is not only when it comes to relationships in terms of dating. Yes, dating is a big issue because these days people want NSA. No strings attached, like if I look like a puppet, you must just cut off all my... What it is? What is this NSA rubbish? No! If you want a real woman like Ginny, you have to be prepared to pay a price. And part of that price is integrity. And when I say integrity, we're not just talking about, as I said, in intimate relationships. Across the board, what at the end of the day do you have? You have your word. You have your word. I have my word. I could have money. The bank account could get wiped out. <clears throat> I could have a car, the car could get an accident. On the insurance side, I was drinking and driving in a little tipsy, so they're not paying to get back a new car. I have to bus route my way around the place. I could have what else? I could have all kind of business, but all of it could fade away. At the end of the day, when you look at my representation as a character, what is the character of me? You say, Jenny, have a word. And when Jenny gives you she word, she gives you a word. Just like when I go in Sunday and Pastor preaching, and it just say, Pastor, what? Hey! And the spirit hits you! Word! And that is what I want to impress upon us this week. If you give somebody a word, hold on to it. Even if you cannot fulfill a commitment, whatever kind of commitment it is, if something happens and perspective change, whatever change, come to them and say, hey, something happened. I don't want to tell you what it is because none of your business is my business. But there's been a shift, there's been a change, there's been a transition, a transformation, and I cannot keep my word anymore with you. I apologize, but know that I'm no longer delivering on what I promised. It's a simple process. And a lot of people say, oh, well, as Caribbean people, we do like confrontation. Confrontation, man. 
Me! You understand what I'm saying? It's not about confrontation. If I come to you, you ask me to do something, I come to you and say, I can't. That's not confrontational. I can't. I can't. I walk my way. I do my business. Same thing in New York. Same thing. In New York is a very, very different culture. You come to the man and say, man, I want to give you the thing. Man say, I don't want anything. No thanks. I don't want it. I good, I good, I good. All right. No kind of confrontation there. You don't want it. You don't want it. I don't give it to you. I look for somebody else. It have a whole direct chairman line up. And as I said before, it's not just man. Anyway. <clears throat> Woo! I see breathless after that one. Well, it was the time half past ten. I wonder if he tweeted. My hope's still up. You see, I stop it half past ten. I still sit down here talking to it. Nevertheless, Miss Jenny coming to you this week to say, child, I want us to keep our word. I want us to keep our promises. I want us to keep our integrity. I want us to know that we must live up to whatever we promise to deliver. And if we can't, say something to somebody. Be respectful, man. This is Miss Jenny coming to you this week to say, hey, look out for next week because next week we're going to be spicy. Keep it real. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. we have to sit. Hey, you can't beat it. Stay rolling. 